you just need like 10 minutes to build it. And if you know what you're doing, you are going to have a very, very practical meadows to black forest, even to swamp little house. Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Valheim series. Now we are going to build a really interesting house. I've seen a lot of players struggling at first when playing this game. They go and uh, let's say they renovate these houses, but <laughs> they just improve them here and there. And they settle in these houses. Now that's not a bad thing, but they can get a bit crowded. And what I want to show you for this particular build Maybe you already know this build, or maybe you don't. It's something I have figured out for myself. Is a really tiny house with a living area of 2x2. Two two. But that house, with just a 2x2 two two living area, will carry you through meadows and the black forest all the way up to the swamp. And here it is how it goes. So let's just flatten the ground here a bit. Take a bit of a flat area. You don't need a very large flat area, but uh, you need a flat area nonetheless. Let's clear the ground so you can see what we are doing here. Okay, so the way I do this, so I'm, going, I'm only going to use obviously materials that are uh, available for uh, um, <laughs> meadows and black forest. And uh, I'm usually placing four slabs down like this and raise two pillars, uh, four pillars, pardon me, okay? So four pillars and those planks on the ground. You can leave this these here if they don't bother you or you can um, totally delete them. So let's leave them there for now. Then I'm closing this area like this, right? Now you're gonna say what the hell is happening? Um, how are you gonna live in this? <laughs> we're not actually going to live in this, we are going to live on top of this. Okay, so we're going to build up here and the, this will be our living space. Now I'm going to extend, I'm going to extend here each side except for the entrance with two, actually, um, two one, uh, two by two four floors. What am I talking about? Okay, then we'll have our entrance right here. Let's. Uh, add a bit of fanciness to the entrance <laughs> to make it a bit cooler and this will be our living space right so two by two living space and on each side of these extensions we'll have utilities and underneath here we're gonna have our main um, let's say crafting stations okay but we're not gonna do deal with that right now do, 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 do. <laughs> I am going to build a uh, this space it's like so so we're gonna close this two spaces these two are gonna be closed and this one will be open like this okay so in here what I'm usually doing is uh, let me grab some some of this roof and some of this roof I'm just gonna layer the roof like this Now, probably it would be easier if I would do this right now. So yeah, let's just do this. I'm usually closing these two areas. Hold on. I may get, I may have gotten ahead of myself right here. But I close these two areas, right. I've only done this build once, so pardon me for stuttering along the way. Okay, and it should look like this. It looks really weird, but don't expect fanciness. Expect effectiveness, okay? We're not here for the fancy things. Okay, so let's add some windows to the build and get it on the bottom. There's a nice window right there overlooking the dark forest. Okay, so far so empty. In here, we're gonna have our door for some privacy, <laughs> like this. And I'm usually closing this area up. This is up to you. Do it whatever you do it however you want and do it whatever you like. And I'm usually having a small window down there because it has more of an intimate feeling like this. 
Now let's add some light in here. We're going to do it like this. We're going to add two torches. So yeah, these are um, copper torches or scones. Or I don't know how this is pronounced actually, to my embarrassment, scones. Thank God it's not a skunk. So from outside it should look like this. You can add, and what I'm usually doing here, you can add one, uh, one like this. One piece of food like that. This will be our campfire. And it's gonna go like this. Okay. And now let's add the chimney right here. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm actually forgetting something. Uh, you wanna extend this a bit further, right down here. Like so. Oh my god. I'm having a hard time navigating through this menu, but it's fine. And let's add some finishing touches because these are required. Okay. Okay. So it won't look so uh, abandoned. I'm going to go to the other side soon as I finish this. Let's get up here. And let me grab the 45ers. There we go. Now it looks a bit now it looks a bit better. Okay. Looks like a weird tree house. <laughs> so far. Okay. So let's get up here and try not to kill ourselves inhaling smoke. Okay. Now you can do whatever you want with the chimney. Feel free to improvise the way you want to do this. It's up to you. We can do it like this, where you can have a... Uh, oh, actually not that one. <laughs> not that one. But this one, you can... Uh, you can go like this and really choke the smoke down there and make it however you want. Actually, this, this, I think it's nice. This looks nice. And over here, right down there, let me grab the stations. You can have your cauldron. Like so. Let's see if I can grab it down there. And also, you can have two cooking stations for your... Uh, well, meat or deer meat. Now in here, let me go to the chests. And in here, I'm usually st having s uh, food stored outside right near the campfire because obviously this is where you cook, right? So there are um, the chests. Now in here, you're gonna have your main storage. And I usually do it like this. I'm using the floorboards right down, down there to accurately place the chests right down around the middle center. And then just add some uh, one by ones there in the background, like this, so you can have more storage area inside. God help me find the chests, thank you. <laughs> okay. Now you can fiddle around with the chests. But uh, what I have discovered is that this particular build, the small one, is really effective. Like I said in the beginning, a lot of new players or even experienced players are struggling with their first build because you don't want to invest too much time in it, you don't want to invest too many resources in this. And I found that this is right down there where you don't have to invest time and resources and still get an effective build. Now over here you can have signs obviously and uh, name these things however you want, but you have a lot of storage area early on and of course there we can have our bed and it is a nice open area let's add some comfort level because I want to show you how much comfort level you can achieve with this now, of course you're gonna have a deer rug over here nothing else nothing fancy in here but enough space so you can maneuver around let's get out here and we have our fire going this these chests will be here for storing um, food stuff right and Let's add the crafting bench and its upgrades. So obviously you're gonna have this. Um, hold on, let me clear these two so we can work around better. Okay. So we can have our workbench right down here. What improvements we have? Uh, we have the chopping block, obviously, and the. Um, hold on, let me let me have some room in here. Um. I should have done this ahead. A tanning rack, God, good God. 
Okay. Now, obviously, the, the pillars are not mandatory. Like, I've added them in the beginning. They just added them for uh, looks and maybe idea of stability, even if it's not there. Okay, we can have this in here, I think. Hold on, let me let me find its uh, place, its the best place. Oh, there we go. Of course, it is a bit crowded, but it is to also <laughs> it is to be expected. Thank God, I can't uh, I can't speak. So sorry. It is um, it is too early in the morning for this, but there we go. We're gonna have our forge down here. So forge goes down here, maybe even like this, a bit to the right. So you can have the bellows, of course. The bellows will be if you have explored some. Uh, so let's not do the bellows, actually, because the bellows is after you've explored some uh, swamp. Okay, we can have the anvils, obviously. Let's see if I can have them in there. No, it's only on this side. Or we can have the forge cooler, obviously, that's, that's there. And I think that's it, because these upgrades are for the ashlands. Let's add some bees right near our house. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Now, obviously, I'm not going to go with the forge, uh, with the smelting and uh, other furnaces. But I think this is it. So just the anvils and the cooler are the first things that you're going to get for your uh, improvements, as far as improvements go. So there's your... Uh, we're going to add some... Um, just let me find the table. Table, table, table. There we go. There's our table. So we're going to have our table here. <laughs> and just for fun. Two chairs underneath here. Oh, also, I'm forgetting something. When it comes to the comfort level, hold on. Let me just grab a, a black banner because I like the black banner better. And right now, I think that should be it. We have the black banner. We have we can't have anything else in terms of comfort. Let me know if I missed anything in terms of comfort up until the black forest because this is uh, actually swamp uh, swamp stuff. Okay, so we have level 9 in comfort. I think it's pretty decent, 16, 16 minutes. Obviously, we don't have portals because this is a build for hardcore series. But you can add a portal right here if you want or anywhere in your uh, yard. Well, feel free to run around and place your walls around the structure. If God help me find <laughs> stake walls, right? So add your walls and uh, your... Uh, Defensive measurements, right? And basically this is it. This is the build right down here. So it's a really small build and a really effective build. You don't need a lot of wood. You just need like 10 minutes to build it. And if you know what you're doing, you are going to have a very, very practical meadows to black forest, even to swamp little house with a lot of room for storage right like this there are a lot of chests in here and actually uh, there are like i don't know i haven't counted them but uh, there are plenty there's plenty of storage chests uh, so uh 8 to 16 and 18 i think because we have two outside so yeah this is the build thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next volheim episode take care of yourselves bye bye now